Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench. This video is about how to do a manual install of Eclipse, this version is Juno, into Ubuntu 12.04. The outcomes of this video would be to check the bit version of the Java install, download the appropriate version of Eclipse, install Eclipse, change Eclipse ownership and create a shortcut, create Eclipse item for a menu, and then finally to create a Java Hello World program. To test it out. And requirements are Java JDK, JDK, Oracle Sun shown. The only requirement really for uh, Eclipse is JRE, but you can't create the Hello World program. Additional info, of course, is the Eclipse website. In order to install Eclipse, you will have to have a Java JRE, Java Runtime Environment, already installed on your computer. Uh, the reason for this is Eclipse requires, uh, or actually runs inside a Java JRE. Uh, additionally, what this means, if you want to download a 64-bit Eclipse, and you have a 64-bit machine, you have to have a 64-bit JRE. If you have only have a 32-bit JRE, it won't work. Let's do some checks on this machine. Uh, one of the things we can check is see how many bits the machine has. And we'll open up a terminal window. And to do that, you name dash P for processor. I686, that's a 32-bit um, machine. The other one has, uh, the 64-bit has an underscore uh, somewhere in it. I can't remember, recall off the top of my head the, the name. So we know this is a 32-bit machine, so it's got to be running a 32-bit JRE. But if you want to do some more testing on it, you can actually go look for a Java test applet. And here's one at Java, www.java.com. And it says your Java is working, and it says Java architecture 32-bit. Now, I will have to say one thing here about testing it with Firefox web browser is that it normally takes about five to ten minutes for this Firefox web browser to be running for this to work. If you just start it up, uh, for some reason it crashes. I think it might be some lazy loading or something like that, as far as web browser is concerned. So, let's go to our Eclipse. Let's close this page. We got 32-bit Java, and so we know it's got to be 32-bit JRE. So here we've got a bunch of Eclipse download, downloads, and you can choose your own, whichever one you want. And I'm going to pick Eclipse IDE for Java developers. I just This machine only has Java SE on it, and it's a 32-bit version, and this is what I'm going to download. If you want to download this right here, you can, and it'll work uh, as long as you use 32-bit. Uh, it's got some web uh, web development uh, things in it, but uh, as far as EE development, you can't do that unless you have the Java EE uh, Java EE. So let's download this, and I'm just going to pick the Eclipse Java Juno, and we're going to save the file and come back when it's fully downloaded. And here it is, uh, fully downloaded. The next section I'm going to cover is how to install it. To install uh, Eclipse, the 32-bit Eclipse that we downloaded, let's open up a terminal window. And although it's there, I just type in terminal just as a redundant kind of thing. And change the directory to tilde downloads and do an ls and you'll notice that here I've got uh, Eclipse Java Juno Linux GTK Tar GZ so now let's uh, extract that so we're going to do a xzvf for our verbose and since it's a z and then we can actually shorten this by doing an e star instead of to having to type everything out on it, because there's only one E, one item in this directory with E. So just hit Enter. Currently everything is extracted. So we're going to do 
and LS to verify that, and you'll see the eclipse in blue. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a, a directory to put it in. And I like to, since I'm going to be managing it, I'm going to put it in the op directory and I'm going to put IDE. And then as a redundant, I'm going to put 32 uh, simply because I run about 100 different virtual machines. And we're going to put P for make a parent directory if it needs one and V for ver uh, verbose. So let's hit enter. Whoops, forgot sudo. So let's go up. So now, password, and it's created the directories. So now we're going to do an ls just to make sure. I'm going to move Eclipse to opt IDE 32 and spell Eclipse correctly. Again, I'm going to have to use a sudo. Now that it's moved, let's go check it out and make sure that everything's okay. CD opt IDE 32, do an LS, and there it is. So the next thing we're going to have to do is change the ownership from myself to root. So in order to do that, sudo chone dash r root root not to root eclipse next thing we're going to do is uh, create a shortcut a shortcut or a symbolic link call it shortcut in Windows symbolic sim link or symbolic link in uh, Linux sudo ln dash s and from opt ID 32 Eclipse Eclipse to user binary or bin and so if we go to the user bin directory and do an ls we should see a uh, sky blue link for Eclipse in there. And uh, E whoops it's red. So let's check something is I've done something wrong. Done something wrong so let's go Okay, see, I misspelled Eclipse. Now let's do it. File exists. So let's go in here and do a force. Now let's go into do uh, an LS. And it should be in the sky. There it is. Sky blue color. One thing to verify and always check yourself. Eclipse is installed. The next thing we're going to do in the next section is create a menu item for Eclipse. Okay, we have uh, Eclipse installed. And we have created a shortcut for it. So now let's create a menu item. Let's go to Ubuntu Software Center. We could make a separate file and, and write it up, but I think this will work. Once this comes up, we're going to look for something called Main Menu. And here it is. And we're going to install it. Well, let's look at more info just to... It's a la carte, a easy editor for GNOME that can add entry new menus and uh, entries in menus. So let's go install. Of course, you have to put in your 
And here's the install. Okay, once it's installed, you'll see this remove button here, but we won't need a software center anymore. So we'll close this. Go to the dash home, type in main menu. And here, come up. We'll just click here on programming and put in new item. And we'll call it Eclipse. And for the browse, we'll go back to our uh, file system. And we have the uh, link in USR bin. So we'll user bin. Here it is. Open. And let's change the uh, icon. Click on it. And the icon would be in uh, File System, Opt, and IDE32, Eclipse, and here we go, the icon XPM. Click Open, and click OK, and close. Now what we're going to have to do is restart, shut down, do a restart so that the item will show up on the menu. Let's log in again. Dash home, type in Eclipse, there it is. Drag it down to the main menu here, right click, Ooh, unlock from launcher. It's already locked on the launcher here. Normally I like to lock it to the launcher because I use it a lot. Uh, okay, so now we have menu item and it's going to be starting up here uh, because I clicked. Uh, but this section is ended and the next section write a simple Java uh, Hello World program. To create a simple Hello World program, we'll open up Eclipse that we've installed and use default workspace click OK and we'll just if you want to go over overview tutorials what's new uh, this is Juno the latest version 4.2 we'll just close this and we'll go to file new and we'll say a Java project but if you want to just say project let's take a look at products you got general CVS Java Maven and say Java project next and default project name is hello world and create separate folders and put next and hello world and where you want to put it I'll put it inside the source uh, folder and called output folder you can change this if you want and so now we've got a hello world project go to source and we're going to make a new class hello world source and then hello world and we're going to make it public static void main string with the arguments and click on finish and here we are class hello world's done that for us and we'll simply uh oh, well we'll we'll leave that in there and we'll simply say system dot out dot print line Hello, Java world. Once we have this done, let's run this program. 
And that's all we say, resources, click OK. And right here we have the output. And so it's working. I hope uh, this hasn't been too hard. Uh, thank you.